Hello and welcome to episode 18 of Battlegrounded with me, your host, Martin. Today I'm going to take you somewhere where I haven't actually been really before. I've, I've been most everywhere on this island, but this is a spot which I've never really explored. Um, it's part of the military base, and it's actually this uh, sequence of, you can see them right in front of me, uh, four uh, like caverns, of, well, aircraft caverns, uh, like... Uh, hidden under little hills there aircraft hangars over here um, there is one of them on the initial spawn island actually um, so it's a, a fairly well known bit of scenery but I've never really looked around in them so I thought I would take a look so first off you can note that the military base has a big uh, airstrip down the middle um, which you know, makes sense and then you've got these hangars which are, are not actually that big uh, they don't go very far back they don't have uh, planes in them or anything like that I was guessing uh, I would guess that if you uh, were putting something in here, you'd probably only fit like a small biplane or something like that. Um, I have no idea how big a fighter jet is, but it strikes me it'd probably be bigger than this. But I think they're really interesting um, because uh, there's four of them, and most importantly, they are covered up with rocks and uh, hidden away, disguised in the landscape, which is uh, an interesting choice, I think, because obviously the entire rest of the military base is, uh, you know, not subtle. It's not a, a quiet piece of scenery. Um, so to have this area here is a, 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 a strange choice. Um, but also I think they're just a really pretty piece of scenery. Um, I, uh, I like the way they've got these little rock faces up here. I think that'd be really interesting to have a final circle in because you uh, could uh, get up on top or go down inside. There's lots of good angles to fight on. And the uh, downside of that, of course, um, although, you know, possibly an upside for strategic reasons and for various other things, is that in order to get to them, if you don't get in there immediately, you have this huge plane around with, you know, it doesn't even have good, uh, like, uh, ground cover. You can't even really crawl across it very easily, uh, especially when it's like this. Interestingly, there is a bike spawn here, so that's something I didn't know before. There's, uh, you, there are some vehicle spawns inside the military base, something I've never really found. Uh, you get a motorcycle and sidecar here, which is my personal least favourite vehicle, although I think it's an interesting vehicle, just because of all of them, it's the one with the absolute worst handling, um, which is just, it just, look at the way it wobbles. So if I try and do a little jump over one of these, to, you know, see how that goes, see, it, it, I mean, you know, I goofed that in fairness, but <laughs> still, it's, it's not my favourite vehicle. So, yeah, you've got a series of these over here, which is interesting. And from up here, on top of it, then I can take some cover and take a look into the military base. So I think what I'm going to do, as I mentioned in the previous one, the military base, very hot zone, so I'm going to have to do it in uh, a couple of little jumps to uh, really do it justice. You can see there's another motorbike over there, which is cool. Uh, that's the plane going over. Um, and part of my, you know, doing it in a couple of jumps is I think going to have to be starting towards the outside and trying to work my way in a little bit stealthily. Um, see if I can get in close and watch some fights as they happen and hopefully not get shot. So let's see what, how close I can get in. Uh, firstly drawing attention to these big missile uh, arrays that they've got here. Um, strangely scaled, I think. <coughs> <coughs> Although, again, that's me speaking with absolutely no knowledge about anything to do with the military that isn't explicitly video gamey. So, you know, maybe that's how big they are. Uh, there's lots of them around, and they seem to be facing in random directions, so no idea what was going on here. You've got the uh, tanks behind them, and they're, they're not covered up at all, unlike the uh, single-person aircraft base. So what we're going to come up on here is a building which I've heard people call the Willy Wonka building, because it's a big, strange factory. And you can hear the shooting going on inside, so let's try and get in and see what we can see. Um, as you can see, it is, as the name suggests, a, a factory. Um, there's been some shooting here already. There are lots of uh, weapon spawns in this building, so you have to, uh, if you land here, then there's probably going to be a couple of other people here, and your mission essentially is to get to a weapon spawn before someone else does. Um, it's a very dark building, actually, I find. And I find it, even though it's fairly straightforward, kind of disorienting. Um, it feels more like a power station, I think, than a, a military building. Um, although I suppose the military need power stations also. Uh, I think it reuses some of the scenery that you get in the uh, power station building. Um, there's uh, these little 
like 60s style, I think, uh, big uh, screen arrays with the keyboard and the little uh, speaker there. So you can put a call in to say, my big uh, machine is not working. It actually, this reminds me more of like an old, uh, I mean, you know, there's the, the power station thing, but it also reminds me more of like an old mill or something like that, you know? It, it, these could be big looms uh, running things in the factory. Um, what are my memories of this place? Um, as I say, I, I feel like this place is kind of intimidating, actually. Um, I found it a little scary to be in here. Uh, there's so many doors and uh, angles. This, it, it's, it's a big building full of right angles, I think. Um, you have to constantly be watching your corners. And that combined with the fact that it is such a, a hot zone for people to land in, um, I feel, although you know, I'm, I'm not trying to diminish the, the skill it takes to do well here, I feel like I often lose uh, in, you know, sort of luck-based battles when I come here, which is not the case, you know. Um, if you get beaten here, it's because someone heard you coming or, or you know, managed to loot more efficiently or, or whatever. But I often feel like I round a corner and get blasted with a shotgun, you know, which I think it doesn't matter whether or not that is fair, it doesn't feel so fair, you know. So let's see what happened here. This person obviously died before they managed to get anything. So, you know, that's an example of what tends to happen in the military base. So, I can hear some movement around. Um, let's see if I can avoid getting murdered. And see if we can find where our friend who did the murders is. <clears throat> I'm just going to sneak in around here. By the way, excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold, so I might be doing a little bit of coughing. I hope that's okay and not too horrible to listen to. I hope you're having a good week. It's a fine Wednesday. I hope you all had a nice and spooky Halloween. Um, Halloween's one of my favourite holidays. I enjoy it very much. Um, we didn't really do much. We went out to see a movie. So that's the time I'm giving you these details. But, you know, it's nice to nice to share and talk. <laughs> um, okay, so I managed to survive the uh, Willy Wonka factory. You've got a couple of radar arrays outside. Interesting. Um, lots of burnt out cars around here. Um, this is one of the reasons why I actually didn't realise there were vehicle spawns inside the military base, because there are so many burnt out ones that I usually just write them off. Um, this is going to make me check vehicles slightly more uh, uh, studiously when I'm exploring the military base in future. Um, this area, I don't think there are any spawns up here. I think this is just uh, scenery, which is you know slightly rare in this game. This would certainly be an interesting place to have a final circle, because... Unlike so many areas in the game where you're hiding behind a tree and you sort of circle out, take a shot, come back out again, lean out, you know, take a shot, all that sort of thing. Uh, here, it's big round shapes, so although you can still sort of do that, there's a lot more back and forth to it. I, I would be really interested to have a final circle that ends here. I should play more until you get more like that. I think that's one of the things about the military base in general, actually. Um, it's such a dense area with different types of scenery. It's the type of thing that I, I hope they do more areas like this when they release the new map, which are just dense with scenery that is tactically interesting. Um, I don't want it to just be dense, but I, I want there to be stuff which challenges how you play the game. Okay, so we're coming up on another building. Um, this is a duplicate of another one that's over the other side and a couple other places. Okay, being shot at. Okay, that is someone up on the hill up there, I think. I can't see them though. So yeah, someone is who is presumably fleeing the military base uh, and to go into the uh, main island. So I had to take some shots at me there, but didn't kill me. So who's the real winner? Probably still them, but nonetheless. So here we are in another one of these buildings. Interesting, you've got these overturned uh, shelving units. Can't climb them. Um, but there's lots of spawns around here. Spawns in all of these alleys. And another one, much like the other building. And I think a defining factor of, of military base uh, scenery generally is right angles. Lots of right angles. Things that you don't get elsewhere on the island, especially outside. Look at that, an SKS and a backpack. Someone took me out of I suppose. So. Um, but yeah, only in. Uh, you know, you get it in the uh, houses in the main building, but even there, I feel like there are uh, the, the houses in the main island tend to be a bit more flowing. You tend to sort of move through them a little bit more fluidly, even though they are big blocky houses. 
in the military base buildings where so much of the scenery is pure right angles, you know, corridors, areas you have to cycle along like this and, and see what's going on. Um, which I think is, you know, interesting. So, let's see, what else is here? There's another one of these big crests, um, indicating, you know, it's a military institution, that's something that you would put here. Um, you've also got a big open uh, missile crater. Maybe I'll take a look at that. I was thinking of heading over to these houses, which I showed you from the radar array before, but I might as well uh, take a look at the um, uh, missile silo while I'm here. I'd also like to take a look at one of the uh, radar towers as well. I think there might be two of them. I've only ever been in one of them, but they're they're great bits of scenery. Um, <laughs> Whoa, getting shot. Okay, here we go. I wonder if that was the same person. <laughs> in any case, here we are. Uh, I consider this a missile silo, although maybe not. Um, I've no idea what this is, because my assumption would be this big thing would flap open and a big missile would shoot out, you know? Maybe a space shuttle or a, or a nuclear bomb or something, but inside it's kind of nothing. Although, is it? Or is that the top of a bomb? God, I have no idea about military stuff. Um, which is good, I think. I don't... I'm glad that there's... One of the things about video games, I think, in general, and it's something that I only realise when I speak to people who don't play a lot of video games, is how many models of weaponry I can identify. Like, I know what an AK-47 is, you know? If, if I see something that looks like an AK-47, you know, it's called the AKM in this game, but I'm like, oh, that's an AK. Um, and I don't much like that, actually, you know? I, I wish I didn't have that knowledge. I don't think that's going to serve me well. I, I don't intend to shoot guns in my life. I intend to try to avoid shooting guns in my life if I can possibly do that. Um, and, yeah, you know, it, it's one of those things that's come about as a result of all the branding, basically, that goes into games like Call of Duty and so on, where they have, you know, partnerships with gun manufacturers and things like that, um, that I'm aware of all that. So I, I actually quite like that I have no idea how this thing would function. <laughs> Although I did see a very satisfying video of one of these uh, big lids opening up um, mostly satisfying because it made the most incredible noise. Uh, just a big hiss and a gigantic clonk. Recommend it. Um, I have no idea what you would search on YouTube for that. But maybe you can watch it after my video. I wonder if that person is still there and shooting at me. Let's have a little look. This is interesting, I think. You know, there's this... Yep, they got me. Okay. I was going to say there's that big hill over the way where you can survey the military base from. Um... Which is good for if you are well equipped, sitting up on and sniping people as they attempt to run. Uh, but I suppose that person sat up there and <laughs> presumably tracked me and was wondering what the hell I was doing. Um, and then eventually managed to shoot me down. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you've en been enjoying the series generally. As always, if you could like it and subscribe, that'd be really super helpful to me. Um, and I'll see you next time. Peace.